I'm in Manizales, Colombia, and I'm currently staying on a coffee plantation farm where they export coffee. All of this that you see right there, those are coffee plants. And today I'm gonna do like a little tour and they're gonna show me how they make it start to finish, the process of planting it and some information on the coffee. So, let's see what happens today. In the main harvest, the picker are gonna be paid by kilo. So every kilo is gonna be paid 1,000 pesos. We are a big hacienda, we can pay them more, but if we pay them more, the small producers don't have any pickers. In the main harvest, we're gonna need 450 pickers in this hacienda. And every picker can pick 150 kilograms per day. The good ones, the good ones are the oldest one. Any young people want to work more in the, the coffee because you can imagine working from 6 a.m to 5 p.m. in a really steep area under the intense sun, uh, insects, the weight of the basket that is attached to your waist, so it's gonna be a really hard work. We need to take care of the babies. If we let it in the, in the coffee crop, they're not gonna be able to survive under the intense sun and the intense rain. So we need to take it and put it in the greenhouse, in the kindergarten that we have here. So how long will it take them to go from that to maybe the summer? Seven months. Plant? This machine is gonna wash that viscosity, that mucilage, because we're gonna need that mucilage to sell it in other industries to develop energy drinks. So we're gonna wash all that viscosity, all that mucilage. This is natural coffee. Okay. You, you smell it? Oh um, yeah. This is what? Natural. Natural. Okay. Over there we have honey. This is the pre-drying process. When this is already dry, we're gonna pick up this part and we're gonna throw all the coffee downstairs so we can do the drying. There you go, all the coffee. So once we dry the coffee, we're gonna throw it like that, that yeah? We throw it here to let it cool down so we can package, yeah? So in this one, you're gonna have a uh, soft coffee with acid notes. That is the one that you really drink. This is wash coffee, honey coffee. We're gonna let it dry with the, this viscosity. We fill it, we roast it, and then the grind. This one is really common in those countries that are commonly used. Uh, strong coffee, whiny notes, liquor notes, a really fruity coffee, natural coffee. So these two are uh, double the price of this one, this is 20,000 pesos, this is 40,000 pesos. The 97% of the coffee in this hacienda is first quality coffee, and only the 3% is gonna be second and third quality coffee. That those coffee are gonna be sold here in the country, in the in casinos, on the small cafeterias. You don't roast any coffee here at all? The only coffee that we're gonna sell here in the hacienda. Okay. Yeah. Just the, if, if this one is for exportation, we don't roast. The, the roasting happens the where the coffee arrives. But what you're saying is if it's a very, very dark roast, that is usually a sign that it's not the best, it's not such good quality. No, no, that is more like a cultural thing. Okay, okay. okay. It's a cultural thing, because yeah. some countries it is really, yeah, really Italy, dark. Yeah, Italy, they like a really yeah. dark roast yeah. because they are used to drinking like that, but not because they have bad quality coffee. No. Okay. <laughs> this is uh, first quality. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, the only secret is constantly moving. That's what you want me to do. Yeah, I can do that. Good luck. My responsibility. It's one hell of a job. <laughs> Wait till you taste it. Oh, yeah. Oh. Good color. First crack. Good roasting, yeah. Yeah, you listen. Million mm. roast. This is the common one here in yeah. Colombia. How does it feel to be a master roaster? <laughs> I've spent my whole life training for this moment. Yeah. It's popping now. Perfect form. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Oh, Third drop. And yeah. we're going to do... Yeah. And this is really... This is the Italian. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And what would you call that? Dark. dark yeah, the room. dark. This is like pork crack. They, all the work that happened behind a cup of coffee. Another thing, because we want to change people's mind about Colombia, that Colombia is more green than white, yeah? <laughs> and also to share with all of you 
our beautiful nature that is our richness. So thank you very much for being here. Hope you enjoy a lot uh, Colombia.